Okay guys, we have a super sick custom water cool PC today by the name of Project Freak Show. And you guys will learn a little later on why we called it that. But I wanted to bring your attention to the Lexa Ares DDR5 RAM kit. Now Lexa have partnered with us to bring you guys a giveaway of this exact RAM kit. So if you want a chance of winning, visit the link in the video description. Also go over and join our Discord. We'd love to have you guys over there and have a little chat with the community be awesome. And now a word from today's video sponsor. A big thanks to Vulture for sponsoring this video. Vulture offers high performance cloud compute, bare metal, storage, and managed Kubernetes. They offer 12 pre-selected operating systems, including Windows, as well as the ability to bring your own ISO. Their advanced networking features are built to support even the most advanced deployments. This is thanks to features like VPC peering and Direct Connect instances, starting as low as $2.50 per month. Their marketplace offers one-click installation with more than 50 applications and operating systems, including Instant Minecraft and other other game servers, VPN platforms, and content management systems. Vulture are offering an exclusive 30-day $150 coupon code. Use code 150 offer 30 by using the link down below. As a bonus for everyone, they just launched their new optimized plans. They feature general, CPU, memory, and storage instances using the latest AMD EPIC chips. Learn more at the link below. Today we'll be starting things off with the ASUS Maximus Z690 Extreme Glacial Motherboard. This is the most expensive motherboard we've ever built with and you can see why with all of these included features. This motherboard comes with what ASUS calls an ultra block. It calls the chipset, VRMs, and the CPU to get the most out of your hardware. I personally love it for the look and feel. It just screams high end, and that's what we're hoping to achieve today. I decided to bring out our i7-12700K CPU to pair with this motherboard. It has 12 cores with 8 being performance and 4 being efficient for a total of 20 threads. The max turbo frequency is 5 GHz meaning this CPU has amazing single core performance. This will come in very handy for our gaming especially with 12 cores being more than enough. Our gaming PC needs a fair amount of storage with games getting larger and larger in file size. I decided to go with three terabytes of Spatum M40 NVMe drives from MSI. These drives have read speeds of 7,000 megabytes per second, so loading games and booting the PC will be much faster compared to the regular SSD or hard drive. The motherboard also has plenty more slots for future storage upgrades if needed. As I said earlier, we have the Lexa Ares DDR5 5200 megahertz, 32 gigabyte memory kit up for giveaway. So feel free to visit the link in the video description and enter for your chance to win. This particular memory kit runs at 5200 megahertz with CL timings of 38. This memory was designed with on die error correction code for improved stability of overclocking so you can get more performance out of your RAM at no extra cost. I also love the minimal black design which looks super clean on this motherboard. Our case of choice is the Thermaltake Core P6 in turquoise, which is extremely unique. Thermaltake actually released a variety of color options, so I thought, why not? It can fit three 360mm radiators if you want the ultimate water cooling performance, and it has so much cable management room at the back and under the power supply shroud. The only thing it didn't have included was a riser cable, but I always think it's wise to buy yourself a very high quality one, and Thermaltake sell them separately. This motherboard is EATX, so you need to make sure it fits fits your particular case. It does fit in the Thermaltake Core P6, however the grommet holes are half blocked off, but we are going to make it work. 
Liam Lee has some brand new fans that just released about one to two weeks ago. These are the Unifan SL120 Infinity fans. We got roughly seven of each color and I wanted to show them all off. So I thought to myself, let's just make a freak show of a build. A little black and white mixed with turquoise. These fans all have the same daisy chain connecting options as the previous versions. However, they have moved the connections to the middle, which now makes them more user-friendly on radiators. They also have an infinity mirror design in the middle and on the sides, which actually looks amazing. I decided to go with two thick 360mm radiators, the CL360 from Thermaltake. I tried installing one up the top of the case, but it covered too much of the motherboard for my liking, so I swapped it out for a thinner radiator. The CL360 is 64mm thick, so there is plenty of surface area for cooling. The FPI is also only 14 fins per inch, so it doesn't require fans with extremely high static pressure to force the air through the fins. Powering the system, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of juice. I decided to go with the Thermaltake Tough Power ARGB 1200 watt power supply. This power supply is platinum rated and should be plenty to support the 12700K Z690 Glacial and Power Color Liquid Devil 6950XT being AMD's most high-end GPU available. Speaking of the PowerCar Liquid Devil 6950XT, this GPU comes pre-blocked for support with water cooling to get the most out of its performance while keeping it nice and cool. The block is made from nickel plated copper, which is fantastic at transferring heat. This GPU has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and up to 128 megabytes of low latency AMD Infinity cache. All you really need to know is it is a fantastic gaming GPU. I decided to go with the PR22 D5 Plus Pump Reservoir Combo. I had a newer version on hand, but it was only around 150 millimeters long, and I felt like it needed to be a bit longer to fill out that empty spot in the case. With the tube being 220 millimeters long, and it has integrated RGB and a built-in pump, it just made sense to use this. I was actually showing a couple of progress pictures of the build to Tristan, and he said it reminded him of some of the black and white ransom note text he had seen. That's when I actually did a bit of research and I came up with the project name Freak Show because we already had black and white fans. We just cut the acrylic, probably had the laser a little too powerful, hence the flame, then painted it white. I also vinyl cut the Freak Show design and stuck it on top of the painted acrylic after it had dried.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that build video. Remember to enter the Lexa Ares DDR5 RAM competition, link down below. I hope you all enjoyed the build. Leave your comments in the video description. Let us know if you're entering the competition or not. And if you'd like to support the channel, become a Patreon or YouTube channel member. Those links are in the video description as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.